Hello and welcome to the third video tutorial for Astronomer. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some important uh, important rules you need to follow for creating physical models uh, that deal with the accuracy uh, of the gears. Um, before I begin I wanted to just throw, uh, throw in a little tip that I forgot to mention in previous tutorials. Um, notice Whenever I, let's see, have a starting gear mechanism, I go to the Astronomer tab, uh, and I have a center center of rotation curve, see how the, the teeth are moving around? This is because it's recalculating the teeth at every location, and it tries to optimize the, uh, the teeth, how they're distributed and how they're arranged in a way that makes sense. In some cases, you might not want this, though. But as before, with Gearify, you have the option of uploading your tooth outline. Now, what you can actually do, so, you know, something that's useful for is you can, you know, design uh, a DXF that has your tooth outline uh, in CAD to look like whatever you want. But even if you don't have that, what you can do is, so I just have this, um, I just have this gear uh, design here. I'm gonna go save export. I'm going to remove the base curve, remove the center. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Move the texture. Move that. Move that. Okay. Export. I'm just going to call it gear.dxf. All right. So now I'm going to go to import full tooth outline import gear.dxf there it is go back to my draw tab okay so now I've actually uploaded um, my tooth outline instead of calculating it what this means now if I go back to the astronomer tab as you see now the the tooth outline is staying exactly the same instead of calculating it it's using the outline that we uploaded so that's a useful tip um, that can be very helpful because sometimes when it keeps recalculating and changing the teeth it can, it can look messy and sometimes you want it to be exactly something specific. Okay, so back to the accuracy stuff. This tutorial should be a bit shorter than the others. Um, there isn't a whole lot of detail but I want to draw, uh, draw your attention to something. Um, so I'm going to go to the astronomer tab uh, search here now notice it generates the graphs fairly quickly. It all works fairly fast. And we're going to calculate our gear. I'm going to just speed this up a bit because I don't really care about accuracy right now. And almost done. Okay. Now it looks pretty good from here. But if I zoom in, look at what's happening here. These teeth are not quite meshing. In fact, they're like pretty fairly off. Um, and this is not a this is not a, a bug or a mistake. This is merely the fact that the settings of the accuracy are fairly low right now. Um, and depending on you know where you look and uh, you know how close you look especially, you, you will see the level of uh, imprecision. So, obviously that's not not acceptable for a physical model, so how do you fix that? You fix it within the Calculate Gear tab. There's something here called Integration Accuracy. You have options of Low, Medium, and High. It is set to Low by default. If you want to create a physical model, you should, in fact, you probably must make it at least medium, if not high. You might be able to get away with medium, but high is recommended, because why not? It will take longer to calculate. You also probably want your trim speed to be fairly low, maybe 0.5, maybe 1, 0.25 is the best you can be, and then check the extra high accuracy for the tooth calculation. 
In short, that's all you need to make sure that your mechanism is uh, is accurate. But you need to go start here, set your accuracy to be high, then go to the astronomer tab. I'm not going to worry about, let me go back here. I won't worry about accurate tooth calculation. I'll just work, worry about ac accurate integration for now. All right, so I'm going to put my curve here. And what you'll see is it's very slow because it's doing things brutally accurately. The other thing that you need to do, sorry, I think I said that was all. There is one more thing. In a second, this will be finished. When we compute the intersections, right now, this is plotting 32 points on this graph, just 32. So the intersections are a little bit rough and not very accurate. What you need to do after you have completed calculation, there we go, that's done. Select your intersection and click refine. Refine will do calculations to precisely determine what the intersection is. What you will see below is the two resulting center to center distances calculated for the internal and external gear and you need to pay attention to how much they agree. The This one, which I just calculated, is pretty darn good. It looks like it is accurate to eight decimal places, which is more than enough. In other cases, however, you may only have accuracy to three or four decimal places, in which case you can click refine again. Refine will take more or less time depending on what your integration accuracy is. Um, in your calculate gear tab. But you do need to take a look at what are the resulting internal and external distances for the internal and external gear and make sure that they closely agree. This is obviously more than enough. This is more than the precision that most uh, most CNC machines or 3D printers can can even uh, you know can even handle. So this is plenty. But yeah, but that's all you need to do in terms of accuracy. You do need to, um, on the Calculate Gear tab, set your integration accuracy to high. You should turn down your trim speed and use extra high accuracy. And you need to refine your intersections by clicking on them and then clicking the Refine button. Uh, is there anything else I haven't covered? So the you can actually adjust the number of sample points of V, which is basically the number of points that are applied on this curve. This is also useful for uh, for searching. You can have a very high number of V samples, which would take a, a very long time. It, it would be a slightly more precise graph or you can have very few V samples, which will give you a very quick and rough graph, but it's, again, you know, very fast and that's helpful. If I turn my integration accuracy down to low, eight V samples, I can be, you know, blazing fast, create, you know, a graph. Again, you can see it's very sort of jagged because it's rough. I can turn it up to 16, a little bit more precise, but super fast again. And the benefit here is that the low accuracy calculations behave similar to the high accuracy calculations. So you can explore, you can test, you can experiment with the low, calcula low accuracy calculations quickly, figure out what sort of design you want. Once you have that, turn up the, you know, just crank up the accuracy settings, you know, start your search, you know, go get a cup of coffee, um, let it finish. Select your select your intersection. Click calculate gear. Again, that's going to take that can take a fair fair while, um, especially 
five extra high accuracy, and I have a, uh, let's see, and I have a, a trim speed of 0.25, everything's turned up. Let me calculate this again. Very sluggish. Back to 32 points. But you know, the good thing is you can just kind of let it run, you know. You can just get it going, walk away from it, get a cup of coffee, go to lunch, watch your favorite TV show, whatever. Come back later when it's done. This part shouldn't take too long though, even for high accuracy. Especially if you just narrow it down to, narrow down your rotation ratio range to one set of, uh, one set of curves. One external, one internal. Alright, so I select this one. I'm going to refine it. Refining takes like 5 to 10 seconds. Alright, accuracy is pretty good. I grab to about 8 decimal places. Calculate planetary gear. Now this is going very slow because, um, like I said, extra high accuracy, very slow trim speed. It'll get there. That would probably take about, I don't know, maybe 5 or 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the most, to complete. Others may take longer. So there you have it. That's the uh, that's the essentials of Astronomer. Um, if you have any questions about anything, uh, just send me an email. Um, maybe if there's something that isn't clear to a lot of people, I'll post more, more videos to help try to clarify a few things. Um, there is an additional tutorial coming for the math savvy users. There is another dimension to the user interface um, that I'm going to present there that uh, is only uh, really understandable to people who are very familiar with um, creating uh, shapes using sort of the graphing calculator style of design. Um, but I'll get into that in the next tutorial. Alright, well I hope you enjoy the software, and uh, thanks for watching.